female Shin Godzilla spawn. Oh my god. There's a female Shin Godzilla humanoid, and it's got majungas. I don't know how to feel about this. Welcome to the ultimate Godzilla size comparison. We got freaking Godzilla minus one on here. We have everything new in the MonsterVerse. Godzilla X Kong in here. Literally everything. So let's get into it and learn us some knowledge. I, still, I ran past like some of the... We know how tall these ones are. You know, it's like nothing revolutionary. Like it's... You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to run and get to the crazy things so we can learn us some fancy, crazy knowledge. I do appreciate these kaiju a lot. They are beautiful. But we know how tall they are. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to see is how tall is Godzilla minus one. The new movie coming out compared to these guys. Plus, I heard this game also has the new kaiju that was just shown in the new Godzilla TV show trailer. Like two days ago. I don't even know how the crap it has this. Oh my god. Manila's terrifying. Manila is super scary. Because it's like that height where it would notice you. Like these guys are too big to almost notice you. But this will stop and eat you. Kumunga should have been named Kumungus. That's not even Kumunga. This is Kumunga, you idiot. Some beautiful kaiju. They are gorgeous to look at while we just kind of speed through. Holy hell, is that supposed to be Manda? Is this what the old man... I don't remember... Jeez, good lord, man. I don't remember the 60s very well, but this is absolutely disturbing. You can't tell me they didn't just stretch out Godzilla for this. And we're continuing on the list. Did everyone say hello to Jason Statham today? I'm pretty sure he's going to be a part of my character forever till I get a cease and desist lawsuit in the mail. But how could you say no to that smile? Come on, he kills megalodons and we're moving and we're enjoying the list but we are moving on we are progressing i love how when they can't get a model they just post a photo of it like how tall it is that's the best way to freaking scale it holy hell marvel godzilla's jimungus 184 meters that's bigger than titanus that's crazy and look how much we still have to go to that's why i'm running as fast as i can there's so many <laughs> it's like every kaiju to ever exist well every godzilla kaiju there's no like pacific rim stuff or anything but that's fine Pacific Rim is getting old as hell. Either make a third movie or shut up. I love those kaiju so much, but I've just seen them. There's no new Pacific Rim kaiju. We're just going to be looking at the same ones forever. Just give me knife head and slant her and get the crap out of my face, you know? Whoa, dude. Freaking Giant Fly, Season 2, Episode 2, 1979. This is this may be the biggest kaiju fan to freaking ever exist. They have literally everything you could ever possibly imagine. What is this? Cyborg Whale, Season 2, Episode 6, 1979. That's someone freaking had an epic childhood growing up on these things. Not gonna lie. I spent most of my childhood just watching Street Sharks, but I have no regrets, dude. Street Sharks were awesome. Dude, it's like five minutes later since I've last spoken. Like, I, I didn't speak for a good couple of minutes right there. It's crazy how big this list of kaiju is. This should honestly be in a museum. Fire Rodan 1993, Super Godzilla. Oh my god. Dude, they need to add this little Godzilla to kaiju universe. I'm, I'm sick of looking at Manila's ugly face. Give us the cute one now. <laughs> no, Manila's dope. But you need to give us this. We need the freaking Juvie Destroy us so bad. I don't care if it's weak. I don't care if it's useless. I don't care if it's tiny and serves no purpose. I just want to be a little destroyer. The crap is this Ben 10? Jesus. The Godzilla franchise is so much bigger than I thought. Look how far we've gone. And look how far we still have to. We're literally in the middle. That's crazy. Ooh, these are actually sick. I've seen this guy in some fan games before, Chameleon. He's like freaking, he reminds me of like a scarier Zilla. I was about to say this chick's kind of hot, but then I saw her her foot. This, <laughs> that foot's a deal breaker, man. Two heads, fine. I'm an open-minded guy, but that foot's gotta go. Komodo Thrax, season two, episode six, 1998. Dude, every kaiju show that's ever existed, this person has added the stuff from. I feel like they should at least give this world developer, like, like the Toho employees, give them a kiss on the forehead. At least. Whoa, this is beautiful. Why does it look so beautiful? Why is it so HD? Why? Okay, I love the Kaiju universe, what I do, but why is this? How the hell did you find me in this vast world of people? That Orga looking sick as hell. Okay, now we're getting into the, into the nitty gritty GMK looking scary as crap. GMK actually isn't that big, but that's part of what makes it so scary. If they're too big, they don't notice the people. Dude, Gazora isn't that big. There's a chance I could beat the cre- No, the muscle behind those tentacles is probably insane. I don't know. I don't think I could beat it in a fight. Dude, Project Kaiju just added this guy to their game, Obsidious, from an older video game. That's freaking awesome. This guy, Red, is low-key one of my favorite kaiju. He's just, like, so terrifying the way he moves. Sorry, Muto, but we've seen you guys plenty. You're not really news to me right now. Whoa, Shin Godzilla people spawns. This one's a beefcake, dude. Female Shin Godzilla spawn. Oh my god. 
There's a female Shin Godzilla humanoid, and it's got majungas. I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like I'm part of what's wrong with society now. That's how I feel. Dogora, size, micro, infinite. That's so confusing. How could something be micro, infinite? I'm resetting my character. I gotta go faster. It's taking way, like I speeded way past me. Okay, I restarted it, because I gotta go even. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get back to where I was, but we're, we're not going quick enough. What's quicker, this? or this? Or are they the exact same speed? Look how weird that is. Like, the floor starts moving forward in front of you when, you, when you're running too fast across it. Like, it's like an optical illusion. Hey, there's female Shin Godzilla. Okay, we're back. We're back at our spot. Dude, Planet Eater Ghidorah is just ridiculous. This is why it's nice to have Godzilla animes too, though, is because you can only do this kind of crap in, like, anime. In live action, nothing will ever be that nonsensical because they would have to spend billions of dollars CGI-ing it and then... Like, no one would watch it because all, like, boring normies would think it's nonsense and not realistic, so it wouldn't make any money. Hey, Kaiju Universe, this, this is what we need right here. Methazula, come on, man, get it added. Like, it's, it doesn't even do anything. I'm pretty sure all it could do is hit. It's got, like, no animations. It's just a mountainous Kaiju, but it's so freaking beautiful. Hello, this is yours truly, Doug. I'm here to ask you for your support in voting for me in Kaiju Universe. Repost this in chat. I agree. I think it's time we have Doug and Kaiju big time. Especially with these things confirmed in, like, Godzilla x Kong, I'm pretty sure we gotta have them. It's another Methazula. All it does is, like, bite and scratch and probably belly flop. Like, it's gotta be the easiest thing to animate. Okay, see, so here's what confuses me about number 10. The big crawler in Godzilla vs. Kong. A lot of people say it's extra big because they, like, genetically manufactured it to be bigger, but it's, like... Dude, it's, it's such a huge reach. It's such a leap. Just to claim that they just have, like, the ability to basically create Mega Kaiju on their own now. And they're just using it that loosely without them confirming it in the movie in any way, shape, or form. It feels like just a giant reach. I like to think this is just a big one. Freaking Tiamat, the only Kaiju that could kill Godzilla in the water. Freaking crazy. Kabazox, the Kaiju that nearly destroyed Kong on Skull Island. I feel like this Manda is, like, the craziest version of Manda. It's just, its face resembles like a viper is terrifying. This fella, this is what I want in Kaiju Universe also. But this guy's probably super complex, so I'm not being pushy or needy about it. Whenever you guys got time. But I just feel like, I don't know, I love lizards. I love blue lizards. I'm, I freaking love this thing. And finally, we're at Godzilla minus one who stands at only 60 meters. Dude, he's pretty short, but that's what makes him so scary. Once again, it's like the whole thing. When they're big enough to notice people, that's when it's scary. I love this design so much. It looks like the monster verse mixed with like... It's like MonsterVerse body, Heisei Godzilla face, and Shin Godzilla dorsal spice, creating the perfect creature. And then look at this, Shimu, bro, 2024. It's not even out yet. This is the thing from the trailer. Just like a rough, a rough draft of it so they reveal more. But look, it even has the matching tail. For, well, it's basically matching. But that's so funny. Like, the second the trailer drops, we have a freaking filler kaiju in here just to, like, hold the place of it so we get more detail on it. Its height and length remains a mystery because it kind of looks different in different parts of the trailer. But I love how up to date this is. This is freaking beautiful. If you guys love Godzilla, leave a like, subscribe. You can play this game. I linked it down below in the description. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>